Here is your question. Okay, so if you have read and understood considering it history taking station, kindly begin and take your history. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, hello, I'm Dr. Ashu, one of the exam candidates. May I confirm your name and age, please? I'm Linda. I'm 36 years old. Nice to meet you, Linda. Today, I've been assigned to ask you a few questions regarding your problem. During the conversation, I'll be also taking some notes. Are you okay with this? Yes. Uh, what can I help? How can I help you today? I don't know. I'm just not feeling well. I'm so sorry to hear that, Mrs. Linda. Miss Linda, and uh, please, can you tell me? Uh, uh, can you please explain what kind of problem you're suffering from? I'm just sweating too much, and I'm just breathing not normally. I'm just worried. I don't know what's happening. All right. Uh, when did you first noticed you are, you are you are feeling restless? Uh, just this morning. All right. And uh, it was sudden in onset, or it, it was gradual. Yes. Um. Just now, I've already started feeling it like this. Okay. And. Uh, uh, do you have any pain associated with the anxiety you have uh, uh, anywhere in, in your body? No, I'm just afraid. I'm just scared. I don't know what to do. All right. And uh, can you tell me more? Right, uh, how is that progressed? Uh, is it increasing or decreasing? No, it's not getting better. It's just getting worse, mm -hmm. I assume. Okay. And is it having any relation with the time? Like, is it uh, uh, present all the time or it, it, it's coming in a special a specific time of the day? Yes, all the time. Okay. And is there anything which makes you feel better? Uh, like you take your no. rest for a while or it, do you take inhalers? No, I don't. Do inhalers? Take no. Okay. Is there anything which makes you feel better? A worse? I don't know. It's just getting worse every second which passes by. Okay, I can see that. And uh, how badly it is affecting your life, day-to-day -day life? I'm not able to do anything. It's affecting my whole day. All right. And... Uh, do you feel restless uh, when lying flat? Yes. Okay. And uh, do you do you, do you feel restless when uh, only when you are anxious? I don't know. It's hard to tell, doctor. I can't. I don't know. All right. And uh, do you have any fever? Uh, not that I can tell, no. Okay. Okay. And then, uh, do you any, um, do you have any, I, I have noticed you're, you're breathing noisy these days? Yes, a lot. Okay. And uh, do you feel that you have a chest pain while walking uphill? Uh, not that. Uh, no, it's not just pain. It's just a lot of sweating. Oh, oh. okay. 
have you noticed any changes in your appetite no i'm fasting because i was supposed to go for one procedure okay as i can see that from the notes and uh, have you noticed any uh, unintentional weight loss no doctor no okay have you noticed any pain in your legs or swelling in your legs no okay uh, have you any have you recently traveled any long distance no i'm here since yesterday okay uh, and uh, have you any uh, is there any history of injury to your legs or uh, any fracture to your legs recently no no such history okay as i can see from the notes that you have stones in your tummy apart from this is there any other medical condition you are visiting your gp no okay do you have any surgeries in the past no doctor this is okay. my first time all right and uh, do you, are you allergic to any medicine or any other substance no not that i know of all right so is there anyone in the family suffering from similar problem no okay then before i proceed further may i uh, may i ask you some personal questions yes please okay what do you do for a living i'm just a housewife okay and with whom do you live at home my husband and i do you have any issues with mobility no Do you smoke or drink no. alcohol? No, I don't smoke. Oh, all right. Uh, is there? Any, do you have any idea uh, what you're suffering from and what are your most concerns about? I don't know, doctor. It's really I don't know. I feel that I'll die. I don't know. Uh, I can understand you are uh, anxious a little about. Uh, uh, but uh, don't worry we are here to take care of you and uh, we will help you uh, in uh, in uh, any possible way we can so what are your expectations from us that you'll help me and you'll do something about this shortness of breath that i'm suffering from and this sweating the uh, sure uh, mrs slinda i'll i'll cons i will go discuss your uh, case history with my consultant and we we'll let you know shortly uh, now i am going to ask you some quick questions you can ask uh, you can answer with the saying yes or no uh, are you suffering from headache or any blurry vision no uh, are you having suffering from loose motions or any constipation no okay and any uh, do you have any difficulty with your motor walks no everything is fine all right do you have any muscle pain or joint pains are you suffering from no okay is there anything which i have missed and you want to tell me about i'm just afraid doctor i don't know i i, I fear that i'll die okay uh, i'm so sorry to hear that but i'm here to help you uh, all right okay Can you summarize your history to me now, please? Um, uh, I, uh, today I have uh, taken a history from from a patient. She is a Linda, thirty six year old female. She has presented with the uh, chief complaints of uh, shortness of breath, and she is looking anxious from uh, since morning. And it is it was sudden in onset, and it is it has remained or it is increasing uh, with the time. It has no relation with that. Uh, time as well as there was no relieving as well, there's no aggravating or as well as relieving factors but she has uh, she has been planned for the surgery which is 6 uh, weeks ahead for her gallbladder stones okay in your so, opinion what would be the provisional diagnosis of patient's condition based on uh, based on these findings i'll consider my my, my, my top differential would be anxiety related to her uh, uh, um, a plan so a plan surgery which is 6 weeks ahead and uh, i will also consider other differentials like 
just just infection and pulmonary embolism just good. malignancy good how would you confirm your diagnosis uh, first of all i will uh, do examination of the patient and then uh, and then i will uh, take a uh, yes i will take uh, i will i will t check all the records of the patient first of all i will consult the gp and take hold all the notes that what are the investigations uh, are done have been done till date and i will repeat all the investigations uh, like uh, i will go with the ch uh, chest x uh, chest x ray blood investigations abg as well as uh, uh, ecg also and i will take the opinion of uh, I will involve the cardiologist in the with the with the fresh two D echo and as well as uh, angiography and for the fitness. Maybe you'll involve some close relative or friend. Yes, I will also involve some uh, close relatives as well as some friends so that uh, a comfortable environment has been created around okay. her to allay her fears. Yes, I will also involve uh, if needed. A psychotherapist to uh, counsel her to allay her fears. Yes. Uh, what do you think? Should the patient go ahead with the plan with the elective surgery or the procedure that he is booked for? Uh, as long as uh, uh, there are no documented uh, uh, documenting documented findings suggestive of any uh, uh, disease, we can proceed uh, with the surgery. Good. In this case. Thank you.